Hey guys, um, Nintendo PSX here, and uh, I'm sure most of you by now know about the uh, Iwata's sad passing um, two days ago due to a bile duct growth, which is a form of cancer. Uh, died at age 55, which is pretty young relatively. And that man, I just w I wanted to make this video. I'm not gonna monetize it. There's not gonna be any music or anything in the background. It's just gonna be me uh, just talking about uh, my memories and just what he actually brought and admiring and honoring everything that he created for Nintendo. So you guys know me. I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I'm giant, crazy Nintendo fan. And uh, you know, having him taken om out of nowhere, really, we all thought. Uh, that his that he was being treated for it, and then it was a uh, that he was you know gonna be fine now that he was getting healthier, and it turns out it was the opposite. And you know that man, you know he went from just a simple game developer that just started on Balloon Fight to helping create and you know uh, get games out there like Earthbound, uh, games like. Super Mario Sunshine, uh, Super Smash Brothers, Kirby, you know, he's the one who influenced Sakurai to actually, you know, go forward with Kirby to HAL, and, um, you know, he became one of the presidents at HAL for a while, got HAL out of bankruptcy, and then, uh, you know, the late, uh, Hiroshi Yamauchi, you know, um, thought him to be, uh, to be a, a good replacement for him, and in my opinion, Awada was. You know, people give him a lot of uh, a lot of flack for a lot of things with the Wii U launch and even the launch of the 3DS. But you know, I want to look at the successes he created, like the DS, uh, the Wii opening gaming to everybody, um, the 3DS. You know, some of the some of the best games and franchises came out under him, uh, in my opinion at least. Uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, Mario Kart 8, Smash Bros. for Wii U, 3DS, Xenoblade even, with Monolith Soft. Uh, probably the new Zelda, which we won't see until next year, but you know. Uh, just all the stuff that he helped bring out, and the ideas that he brought to the, uh, the field of the industry... You know, Iwata ass completely uh, explored into the normally secretive gaming development world. Uh, the directs where he he would show off his little comedic flair and and talk with his uh, Japanese accent, English talk. You know, it's directly to you and all that stuff. And you know, things are gonna be a little different now. But you know, a lot of people have already said it. He's left a large legacy at Nintendo, and he's left a, a spot in almost everyone's hearts, whether you like Nintendo or not. And, you know, that that's a big thing, where you can... You're a CEO, but people are mourning you and looking at you as if you were some huge celebrity that did so much for this world. And he really did. You know, he, he, he really was an, an industry veteran, and the stuff that he envisioned and created for this world in the world of gaming, that is, is, uh, really big, and, you know, I've, I've tried all day saying to myself not to cry, and I don't want to, because I know Iwata would not want us to have sad faces, he would want us to, to be happier, to smile in the face of this, uh, sad news, and, you know, play the games that he, he helped bring out, and, you know, enjoy them and smile that's what he would really want he wanted everybody to have fun with these games to have fun with nintendo games and that's what he really wanted and i i intend to honor that i intend to play his games continually whether they have his name on them or not and you know see what nintendo can do now you know, yeah you know it's 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 sad that the last thing he said to the public was, I'm sorry for the E3 presentation because of the outcry over one game, Metroid. And I guarantee you that outcry did not help his health. 
and you know you guys all you cared about was oh it's not the right metroid or whatever and you know there's this guy over here who's sick but he's still putting on a smile putting on a show for everybody just so they can have that smile with his games and not you know feel like feel horrible you know it's the morning is appropriate but we must smile in his absence and look at Nintendo with the fond memories that they always give us from childhood to adulthood to even death possibly you know Iwata was a very personal person he was humble he was generous he was kind he was he was very out there he was very in tune with the people and what Nintendo fans wanted and what just gamers in general wanted you know he left a lot behind that he won't even see finish his quality of life platform the NX uh, y you know um, the Iwata ass the directs uh, the mobile games you know he left a lot behind that someone's now going to have to take up the mantle of and they might not do it as well they might do it better but you know the stuff that Iwata paved is what really uh, matters here and it's it's hard to say there goes my phone it's hard to say um, you know say our goodbyes to such a great man and you know take the time to actually realize all the things he's done and propelled for the industry and you know you look at these Twitter posts from all these game developers whether they're from Sony Xbox or third parties, you know, all these kind words and inspirational uh, sentences that are just, you know, he inspired people. He he is literally a CEO that everyone, every CEO in any company, whether gaming or not, should aspire to be. You know, taking a 50% pay cut just so he doesn't have to fire a single person during a bad salary, like during a bad month of sales is not, not a lot, not... <laughs> Not many CEOs would do that, if any at all. You know, he really valued everybody above himself. And even now, he's doing that the same way. He valued the games that he produced and got out there. And, you know, his health deteriorated. And, well, here we are. It's going to be a little bit hard to buy games next year. Even later this year, like Xenoblade and... Fire Emblem Fates next year and Yoshi's Woolly World and then get to the end of the game and see in the credits executive producer Satoru Iwata. It's going to be hard to go through that. I remember when I was playing Majora's Mask 3D and even Wind Waker HD getting to the end and seeing the uh, the credits again for Hiroshi Yamauchi. I, I teared up a bit and I, I'm, I guarantee I'm going to end up tearing up again when I see when those games come out and I beat them and I get to the end and I see that in the credits. It's going to it's going to be hard, and it's going to be almost unreal. But, you know, the games continue his legacy. Nintendo continues his legacy. N you know, Iwata was always praising Yamauchi and always saying he wanted to continue what Yamauchi left. And then Iwa Iwata, Iwata ended up leaving this huge legacy of himself. So, whoever's next, you can take up both those two, those legacies, and, you know do what Iwata couldn't do now. But, you know, he was a great man. You know, all the honor and all the praise is 100%, you know, appropriate. <sighs> it was just a surprise, you know. I, I was just playing Terraria last night. And then I'm like, oh, let me check Twitter. And then I start to see posts about Iwata dead and stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's what? Let me let me let me ex research a bit. Maybe this is just something fake. And no, it turned out to be real. And, you know, I, I have some of the, I follow some of the Nintendo Treehouse people on Twitter, and you see them mourning. And you know, it's 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 it still feels unreal even now. And it it you know, people say to uh, there's a way. There's times where you can expect death if somebody's on a sick bed or if they're getting really ill and we know about it and you know you could kind of steal yourself and prepare but that, there is no preparing for that news it was just just came out of nowhere and I, I I'm sure to him as well 
you know, his own death came out of nowhere, but, you know, and then there's the rainbow over the Kyoto headquarters, or the R&D department at least, and, it, you know, what fans are calling it is uh, Iwata's Rainbow Road to Heaven, and the symbolism of that rainbow over the headquarters is, is mental, really, it's just, the chance of that happening is, you know, right now, in, in that specific place, it, it really feels like he's shining down on us still, saying things are fine. You know, the light piercing through the clouds of the rainbow, that's Iwata going to the headquarters and just saying, you know, don't feel down, just keep going what I, what I showed everyone. You know, I can only imagine what the uh, Treehouse people and, and some of the developers like Aonuma and Itoi and Miyamoto and even Reggie feels right now because, you know, they interacted with him, and at times, they were, he was their boss, and their leader, and, you know, their leader's gone, and it's not easy when a leader is removed from a place, in such a fashion, at least, you know, didn't even get a chance to retire at all, or, you know, but my condolences go out to his family, his friends, everyone at Nintendo, and including all the fans as well, who are feeling this way, the same way I'm feeling. So, again, I'm not going to monetize this video or anything. I didn't want any music. I just wanted it to be me with my thoughts to the public about how I feel about this. And I'm hurt by it. I'm broken. I'm sad. And it's going to take me a little while to get over this. Because, you know, I, I cried when I, fig when, I lo when I found Yamauchi passed on. And I'm telling myself not to cry this time because that's not what... Uh, Iwata would want, he would want us to smile on and keep playing Nintendo. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep playing Nintendo, and I'm going to smile. And that's what all you should do, too. This has been Nintendo PSX, and uh, I'll see you guys next time, and hopefully uh, we can return back to the comedy of this channel. See you guys then.